Now let's take some typical question which are based on finding the integral solutions. So I have divided the uh, question, the format of the question in four parts. The first part is that the whatever the number n is given, whether it is a perfect square or not. So I am taking the first case that the number given so is not a perfect square. And then again, there are two ways of framing the questions. One way is the first one that we can uh, read that in how many ways the question says that in how many ways number 90 can be written as a product of and they are two parts of it. The first is they have to be a product of either positive integers or any integers. If you look at the second question, it sounds very similar to the first one, but here the variables have been introduced. It says that if x into y is equal to 90, then we have to find the number of pairs x, y such that again it has two parts that x and y are positive integers or x and y are any integers. So the process of solving the, all these four questions is same. The only thing which we have to remember is that what has been asked and what has been given in the question and according to that we have to get the answers. So let's start with the process and as and when we move to the process I will explain that in, out of these four what should be our answer if any one out of these four questions are thrown to us. So since first of all uh, let us forget everything and let's focus only on getting the uh, number of ways wherein uh, number 90 which is not a perfect square can be written as a product of two numbers. So let me assume that the two numbers are a and b and their product should always be 90 and we need to find how many such uh, integral numbers are there. Now one thing we need to observe is that if a into b is 90 then both a and b must be factor or factors of the number 90. Let us first of all prime factorize number 90. So 90 can be written as 2 into 3 square into 5. Now we need to find the number of factors of 90. So therein we can apply direct formula. So it will be uh, the power of 2 is 1. So the number of ways 2 can be used is 2. The power of 3 is 2. So the number of ways 3 can be used is 3. And the power of 5 is 1. So the number of ways 5 can be used is 2. So it will be 2 into 3 into 2 which is 12. So there are 12 total factors of 90, but all the factors will be a positive number. We are not taking our negative numbers uh, wherein the product gives me 90. So we will do those kind of manipulation later on. Now let me just list down all those factors of 90. So if I write all the factors of 90, it will be 1, 2, 3 and 90. Now one thing we need to observe here is that since both A and B will be factor of 90, and the products, uh, uh, product of both the uh, number a and b should be equal to 90. So we can see here a pattern that if the first factor is multiplied with the last factor that is 1 and 90 then the product, uh, the product will be 90. So let me just uh, write all those pairs here. So 90 can be written as 1 into 90. The other pair will be taking 2 and 45. So the next pair will be 2 into 45, the third would be 3 will go with 30, the fourth 5 will go with 18, 6 will go with 15, 9 will go with 10 and 9 will go with 10. So as you can observe that we can write 90 as a product of two natural number in these six ways and every of these term is a factor of 90. So if you want to get the answer for the first part of this question then the answer would be 6. Because this is the only way wherein 90 can be written as product of two positive integers and remember that positive integers are nothing but natural numbers. So if I want to devise a formula say if the number of factors of the given number is say f then the if this is the quotient then the positive integral solution the answer would be f by 2. So this will be my shortcut formula for question number 1 the first part of the question number 1.
Now let's move to the next part, and that is if the if how many ways 90 can be written as product of any integers. Again, the same thing will be applicable that a and, a and b both will be factors. But now this number can be negative also. But to get the product 90, uh, which is a positive number, either both a and b will be positive or both a and b will be negative. So whatever I have written here, I can again write these things as or 90 can be written as minus 1 into minus 90, minus 2 into minus 45, and minus 9 into minus 10. So if I want to devise the formula for this, so answer for this second part of the first question would be uh, all these six pairs as well as the, the negative pairs also, which also counts to be 6. So 6 and 6 makes it 12. So the answer for this question or this part will be 12, which is nothing but if I want to divide the shortcut formula, then it is the number of factors of given number n itself. Now, one thing we need to observe here is that I have taken 90 as 1 into 90. I could have taken 90 into 1 as well. But since here in the question, the variable is not mentioned. In this question, we have not been given the variable variable is not given so in such scenario the answer would be the unordered pair that means the solution 190 is same as 91 because we have because the variable is not provided in the question so that is the difference between the first question and the second question. In the first question, we have not been given any variable. In the second part, in the second question, we have been or the variable have been introduced. So what we need to do is that if the variable is introduced, then and if the question says that we have to find the number of pairs, then this pairs means ordered pair. So in such scenario, one if 190 is one of the solution, then 91 will be another solution. So we have to take both the solutions separately or we have to count both the solutions. Unlike in the first question, since if the variable is not given, so we have to take only unordered pair. So therein 190 or 91 makes is one of the same thing. So that is the uh, difference between these two questions. And and their part also we have understood that if it's a positive integer, then we have to only take the positive, uh, or both the numbers, both the terms of pairs should be positive. And if it is an integer, then it could be both positive or both negative. Now let's move to the next question. How to, so what would be the answer for this question or the first part of this question that is X and Y are positive integers. So we have seen that here the ordered pair matters. So 190 will be one pair. So 90 into 1 will be another pair. Or 91 will be another pair. So I can again write 2 into 45 as 45 into 2. 30 into 3 can be written as 3 into 30 can be written as 30 into 3. And 18 into 5. 15 into 6. And 10 into 9. So if I take both. If I take all of these pairs then that will be the solution for the first part of second question that x and y are positive integers will be 12. So the shortcut formula for here is the number of factors itself. A student must give a good glance to whatever we are doing here so that not only they should remember the shortcut formula but the way we have got it because in case of any doubt you should cross check it immediately if you know the process of getting the answer. Now let's come to the last part of it. So what will be the answer if x and y are any integers? So all these 12 positive pairs will be part of the solution as well as negative pairs. Similar to what we have done with the positive pairs, the negative pairs can also be ordered. So 90 into minus 1 will also be the solution. Minus 45 into minus 2 will also be the solution. Minus minus 15 into minus 6 and at last minus 10 into minus 9. So 12 from here and 12 from here. So whatever I have written here, every pair of both the boxes will be the part of the solution of the second part. So the answer here is 24 
and the shortcut formula for it will be 2 times of the number of factors of the given number n. A student, always remember that I am considering a case wherein the number given is not a perfect square. I hope this illustration has given a fair idea about how to use the shortcut formula and the logic why we are uh, getting that answer depending upon how the questions are framed and what have been asked. Always remember if variable is not given then the answers are unordered pair and if the variables are given then the answer is ordered pair. Now let's move to the next section of it which wherein we take if the number is a perfect square and such four scenario comes into then what would be the answer for it. Here again I have taken the similar kind of question but now the number n should be a perfect square. So I have taken the number here as to be 36 and again two part, two different way of framing the question. One wherein the variable is missing. So in this question we don't have variable or variable is not given. In this case the variable is given so the number of pairs automatically means ordered pair. Now let's follow the same approach what we did in the, uh, uh, in the previous question. So first of all we have to factorize 36. So 36 is 2 square into 3 square and the number of factors of 36 will be given by 3 into 3 that is 9. And let me assume that this 9 is nothing but f here. So that we can devise the formula in terms of f. Now again 36 can be written or if I list all the factors of 36 it will be 1, 2, 3, 18 and 36. I will do the same thing the first factor will go with the last factor to give the product 36. So unordered positive pairs would be 1 into 36 then it will be 2 into 18, 3 will go with 12, 4 will go with uh, 9. Now we are left with only one factor that is 36. But since 36 can be written as 6 into 6, so this factor can be used twice to get the, now as you can see that the number of factors here is 9. But the number of unordered positive integers there we are getting here is 5. Unlike in the previous section wherein the number of factors was even, here the number of factor is odd. But to make or to write 36 as a product of two numbers say A into B, I can very well use both the numbers to be same. But while counting the number of factors, we only count 6 or the under root of the number n if n is perfect to square only once. But in writing we can use it twice. Therefore to uh, just to do the adjustments, if we want to find the positive integer then we have to assume that the under root part can be counted twice. So if the number of factor is f then actually the counting is for f plus 1 and we are finding the pair so it has order, unordered pair so it has to be divided by 2. So this would be the shortcut formula for the first case. Here the number of pairs which are positive integers would be if f is equal to 9 then it will be 9 plus 1 divided by 2 or 5 which agrees with the uh, with the all the factors which we have written here. Now let's move to the next part which says if it has to be any integers. But since variable is not given so we have to take only unordered pairs so the positive ordered unordered pair we have taken so the correspondingly negative ordered pair will be definitely minus 1 into minus 36 minus 2 into minus 18 minus 3 into minus 12 minus 4 into minus 9 minus 6 into minus 6 so again there will be 5 more such pairs so for this question the answer would be number of factors plus 1 or the shortcut formula will be number of factors plus 1 and putting the value of f as 9 so it will be 9 plus 1 or 10. So for this question the answer is 10. Now let's move to the next question. So for the first part if x and y are positive integers this segment can be written twice but the only thing which we will doing it differently here is that 6 into 6 or the pair 6 6 cannot be repeated or it cannot be ordered in a different way. Unlike 1 and 36, 
we can order divs. So if I want to order all these five, I cannot order six, six because it can only be taken once. Rest all fours can be ordered. So if I talk about ordered positive integers pairs, then it will be 136 as well as 36 1 and, and the last will be 6 6 only. So you can observe here is that every pair got ordered except the last pair which is 6 8. So in such scenario the answer for this if x and y are positive integers and the ordered pair the answer would be number of factors itself. You can count it so the number of factors will be 9. Similarly the next and the last part we can just write all these pairs or all these pairs as negative of it. So 136 can be written as minus 1 minus 36 so and so forth till the last one which will be minus 6 minus 6. So including these as well into uh, positive ordered pairs. So these are negative ordered pairs basically. So the total number of solution will be 2 times the number of factors. So for this question where the number is 36, the answer would be 9 for the first part and here the answer would be 18.